What is going on everybody? This is MYG Jeffy T3285 and I'm just going to give you a quick little roster update on the New York Giants signing another offensive tackle to boost onto their roster heading into the second game against the Carolina Panthers this Sunday at home in their home opener at 1 o'clock for week two. The New York Giants today signed four-year offensive tackle KC McDermott who, who was, came out of Miami in 2018 as an undrafted free agent and last year ended up playing with the Jacksonville Jaguars where McDermott ended up playing in 46 offensive snaps. He committed one penalty with no sacks allowed with his overall grade which was 66.3 as his overall pass, re pass blocking grade which is not that bad for the limited amount of snaps that he had all last season. So this is a guy that's pretty much going to come in. He's 6'5", 311 pounds with a 5.35 speed that he had when he ran the combine he's uh he was it says that he was drafted in 2018 but he was actually an undrafted free agent so he's just going to be a guy that's going to be coming in to the practice squad adding a little bit more depth to that offensive tackle position for the new york giants going forward so we have to see if he's going to be a guy that maybe they're just stashing over there as potential depth depending on what's going to happen you know with their reserve offensive tackles they have because right now the Giants don't have a clear reserve offensive tackle on the roster if you don't include Devery Hamilton who can be a guy that could swing out to the guard position or be a guy that can swing out to the tackle position and as we all know Matt Parrott who has suffered a torn ACL late last year, is still rehabbing. He's on the pup list, which means he's not going to be coming back until at least week seven. So the New York Giants need to find some depth at offensive tackle position going forward, and they're hoping a guy like Casey McDermott can come onto the practice squad, and if he shows enough on the practice squad, maybe he can bring up, maybe he can be warranted for a roster call going forward, as he is only 26 years old. So maybe with the offensive line coach, Bobby Johnson, you can help coach this guy up a little bit. He's got decent size. Maybe be that uh, backup offensive tackle if they don't believe in pair or if they don't think he's ready enough from his ACL injury to bring him in and see what he can do going forward. But that's uh, Casey McDermott joins the New York Giants practice squad. So we'll have to see if McDermott is going to be just a practice squad player or if he's going to guy that's eventually going to be brought up to the main roster. We'll have to see what's going to happen. There hasn't been a corresponding move yet. I'm assuming the Giants are going to make it either tomorrow or during practice time by Wednesday to see if maybe there's somebody that needs to be put on short-term injured reserve, if there's a player that's banged up right now, if they want to try to interchange some of the offensive linemen they have on the roster. But that's the offensive line move that the New York Giants made today as they signed offensive tackle, four-year pro, Casey McDermott, who was, draft, was an undrafted free agent from the Miami Hurricanes back in 2018. He's 26 years old right now, 6'5", 311 pounds, and he had a, last year he played in at least 46 snaps with one penalty overall, with an overall pass blocking grade of 66.3, or an overall grade overall in terms of his play at 66.3. So maybe this is a guy that can be used as depth. We'll have to see as the season progresses, but... I just want to give a quick shout out too to my guys that were on the live chat with me tonight during the Monday Night Football game. Mac the Giants fan, Nick Shift Randy, Further AM, and Mitch Kofsky, and everybody else that was in the chat today. Thank you so much. The live stream tonight for the Monday Night Football game between the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks was fantastic. I appreciate everybody that was there for me and there supporting the channel and everybody else's channels as well as the live stream. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend and a great Monday night. And if you guys like this channel, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeffy T3285 where I'm going to give you all the news as well as roster and injury updates and chatter surrounding the New York Football Giants as well as the New York Mets, Brooklyn Nets, WW Wrestling, some AEW Wrestling, and some food for thought. If you guys enjoyed the video I did earlier with the uh, Korean Fire Noodle Challenge, let me know in the comment section. Turn on the bell for notifications of the next video or short that's going to be dropping on the Giants. And let me know in the comment section what you think about the addition of Casey McDermott and if you think he's a guy that could potentially be a depth offensive lineman and a potential swing tackle going forward if he shows enough on the practice squad going forward. Everybody have a fantastic rest of your Monday night. Continue to enjoy that victory by the New York Giants this past Sunday on to Carolina this Sunday for Week 2. Home opener. Giants got three straight home games against the Panthers, then followed by the Cowboys and the, and the Bears. No excuse. The Giants can win these three games, and I think at best the Giants take one game at a time, 
but it's not out of the question that this team could start out the season 3-1 and one or 4-0. and no. But right now, just go in and get ready for week number two against the Panthers, and we'll see what happens with Baker Mayfield and his bunch coming to MetLife Stadium to take on the 1-0, and oh, yes, that's right, 1-0 and oh, New York football giants. And oh, what a feeling it is to say 1-0 and oh, above 500 division-leading New York football giants. Everybody have a great rest of your Monday night. Take it easy, and let's go New York football giants. Together, Blue, everyone.